We're back in Leon, Mexico, the host and backdrop to the 2023 FIBA Women's America Cup. Day number three, Group A, and we are on to our second contest. Welcome to the court, Brazil and Argentina. Argentina made a splash on day number two, defeating, or excuse me, not defeating, by giving USA a run for their money. A tightly contested game through and through. And they've got a lot of pride in the stands. Meanwhile, Brazil, they're walking in with victories against Cuba and Venezuela, both pretty handedly. The two will clash here today. I'm Desmina Barton alongside Javon Shepard. Javon, this is a breakup now of what Group A looks like. What stands out to you? Well, you, you know what? From Brazil's two victories, there's 55 assists, uh, 61 f made field goals, right? So they're really just moving the basketball. We can talk about all their talent on the inside. We can talk about their talent on the perimeter, but they don't rely on that. They share the ball. It's a team game for them, and I, I got to appreciate that. When I look at Argentina, you're right. They came in with a splash against USA, and I was really impressed with Black Redder, right? Nine assists versus USA, and I just love the way she orchestrated her team and orchestrated the offense. They play with a pop, cutting back door. It's an, a selfish brand of basketball. Everybody gets involved. So with two teams that move the basketball well today, you're really going to have to be on your toes and defend. So Argentina in their baby blue jerseys are the visiting team, and they are storming out to the court now. This is a group that has made 16 AmeriCup appearances, silver in 2009, 11, and 17. They got here with their performance at the South American Championship in which they earned silver. They lost to Brazil, this team, this matchup, on a buzzer beater. So there's no love lost between these two <laughs> nations. And Brazil now stepping onto the court as the home team the yellow jerseys. And Brazil is the winningest nation in America Cup history. Bronze medals in 2021, 2019. They're known for their defense and their staunch play. And they've got the pedigree and the tutelage under Jose Neto, their head coach you're looking at on your screen. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and stand for the national anthems first with the visiting team, Argentina.
so much pride for both of these nations as they prepare to meet at midcourt and share a gift or just hellos and high fives at this point. I think we're day three, so we're done with the gifts, maybe. <laughs> and these two, yeah, they're going to go at one another here in just a matter of moments. Yep. Two very rich basketball cultures. And like we said, these two met in the South American Championship. Brazil won by a late buzzer beater, and it was in Argentina. Those games, like those type of games, they stick with you, right? And you always remember them. They leave a bitter taste, and we have an opportunity to, to avenge that at any cost, at any capacity, on any level, any stage. And for Argentina, they're going to stick with a similar lineup they went out with against Team USA. Andrea Boquete, Agostina Barani, Melissa Gretera is going to be their captain and the facilitator who you highlighted earlier. Or Florencia Chagas and then Brenda Fontana. That's your starting five for Argentina. A look at the rest of the roster as this group is coached by Gregorio Martinez. It's his third year leading as the head coach. And Coach Martinez took over in uh, July of 2020. So happy anniversary to Coach Martinez. That's Gretera. A look at Martinez making his final preparation. This group last AmeriCup was ravaged by COVID. So three of the starters out and not a whole lot of basketball for them playing. On the opposite end of the court, Brazil, they're going to show us a different look here today, Javon. In fact, they're going to start their two bigs next to one another. So you're going to see Camila Cardoso and Demiris Dantes. Go well, right away, you look over Argentina, there's a size advantage, right? So that is just, you know, Coach Neto playing, playing chess right there. We're gonna, we're gonna play to our strength, we're gonna use some size against you, to try and wear you down early. And the rest of the starting five here, you got Montero, Faisal, and Costa. This will be the first start for Dantes, which will be exciting to see her and Cordoso play off another. They are led here by Jose Neto in his fourth year. He was a former coach with the men's national team. Coached many of pros, but it was always men before he took over this program with the women. And of course, with that victory over Argentina, they're coming off the 2022 South American Championship. For you, Javon, is it about who punches first or who sets the tempo? What's going through your mind? Well, right away with the, with, the, with the move by Coach Neto, it's play to your strength and punch the ball in size. And I want to see how Argentina is going to match up with that, right? Because on the defensive end, right, what is, what's the game plan going to be, right? Are you going to start doubling right out the gate? Or, but one thing's for certain, your rotations are going to have to be crisp, right? You can't match position for position with size. Brazil fight to stay undefeated here in Group A play. Argentina, they got their first day was a rest off day. Then met USA. A great contest. Coach Martinez able to strategically keep pace with the American squad. They ended up dropping that game by nine. And now Cordoso rewarding the jump ball. Brazil with the possession first. Outside wing shot, Dantas. Usually we see her get a touchdown low first. Chagas getting picked. Deborah, coast to coast, no, it won't drop. Just a bit too quick, Deborah was for herself. Overran the rim. Gretera, Chagas. Working around the horn, Argentina here off the screen. And a backcourt official saying that Brazil did not touch that ball. Back 
back-to-back -back turnovers for Argentina to open up the contest. Cardoso back out. Debra, three balls off. Boquete quickly gets it into the hands of Gredera. Barani driving right, dish down on the block, and the foul delivered by Cordoso. So going to the free throw line is Brenda Fontana. And a great drive by Barani, right? You had Cordoso on her on the perimeter. No, she's not comfortable defending out there. Just, you know, fakes a handoff there, turns the corner, drops it down, and Cordoso coming over late to help. Block the shot and coming across, across the body of Fontana. These two programs know each other very well. as the free throw goes in for Fontana, and Argentina gets on the board. Two for two. Three-quarter court, pick up here by Gretera. High sound. Working off the screen. Thought about pulling up the J. Montero will take a quick stutter step. Better shot for Brazil. Greta Fridi, Fridi, feeding up to Barani. Turn, shoot, it's off. Montero takes baseline. Kick out, Paisal from the corner. Drops. The three will count, and the foul underneath the basket. There's some tough box outs going on under the rim. That's going to go again. Number 10, Cordoso. Barani draws it from the wing. It's a miss. By Sal. Moving things right along for Brazil. Little pump fake. Going to the baseline. And the foul on the floor handed over by Barani. Now Barani got into some early foul trouble too with USA. But you look at the matchups that she has, right? She's outsized. But she, she plays physical, she continues to play physical, she moves her feet, and oftentimes she's gonna get caught in some of those situations where she's picking up some, you know, just some late fouls or just trying to. And another one by Cordoso. Plays like those are, are ones exactly right. She sticks her nose in there. So, unfortunately this one worked, was in her favor, picks up the offensive foul. Her second personal foul. She's got two. Dantes has one. And it's a 3-2 ball game. Gretera skip passes to Barani. Chagas behind her screen. Misses. Erica's on the floor now. Lost the shoe. And Dantas, yes, yeah, lost the shoe. <laughs> and Dantas was not a part of this Brazilian team. Back in 2021, she was healing from an injury. Dantas playing the WNBA, now plays professionally in Mexico. So this might be considered home court, maybe? A little home court advantage, home court cooking. She's a heck of a player. Deborah takes the lane right on. Tracks down her own rebound. Another set for Brazil. Pull up three in front of Barani. Misses. De Souza there for the put back. Misses. Keeps it high and she'll head to the free throw line. And that's years of experience, right? You put up your shot, you get the rebound, you keep the ball high, 
and all the blue shirts are still there. She has a size advantage, a height advantage. They have no choice at that point. Either you're giving up a bucket or you have to foul. You've got to put a body on her early so she can't get those offensive rebounds. Three shirts there, and she comes up with her own board. A legend in her own right, Erica de Souza, the 41-year-old captain of this Brazilian squad. A true veteran and leader. She's come quite, she's become quite symbolic with Brazilian basketball. I see the type of respect she gets every time she walks in the gym. And we're in Mexico, so that imagine when we're in Brazil. Celebrity status. <laughs> One for two in the flex. <laughs> You got nothing to lose, right? You're playing <laughs> basketball with some of your best friends, repping your country. Coquete in the corner picks up her dribble. Fantana on the free throw line. Another miss. Dantas out of hand in it. Montero. A miss, Gretera on the weak side. Great body control. And Chaga is going right at Dantas. Barani waiting to spot up. She releases. And Argentina just flat from the field. Yeah. Salzo on the block. Debra taking the lane. Misses. Misauza. There. Right, right place, right time again, right? She kicks out, but gets the ball in the post, gets the kick out there, the shot goes up. And she already has the inside position to come up with the offensive rebound. Here's the Debra's penetration, and then the Souza there. Right time, right place. She misses both, but Dantas gets the rebound. Turn, shoot, power move by the power forward, and we're going to say it's too much. I believe that may be 2 1 Dantas. So 2 1 Dantas, and then 2 1 Cardoso. Both now are sitting on the bench after a little over four minutes of action. A technical. Against Brazil. I need a replay. Coach Neto is like, my bad. <laughs> My bad. Greta misses the first. Some fans are going back. Yeah, good competition there. Both coaches just laughing at the call. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Greta. Chagas, and Brazil's running the other way. Vanessa back to Gonzalo, top of the key. Short, last touched by a blue jersey. De Oliveira, the inbound. By sound, pump fake, and they're going to say she traveled. Yeah, a, bit of, a little bit too anxious there. The hand 
off to Chagas, quick pass, cross court, pulls the trigger, Boquete. Yes, the first field goal. So what feels like the first field goal here for Argentina. Well, they've got to take advantage of the minutes that Cordoso's on the bench and Dante's on the bench there. These, these minutes here are very important. So with that three-pointer, Argentina took a 5-4 lead. Great job coming off that, that screen and just stopping, letting the defense retreat. Enough space there to just let it fly. Greta up behind the screen. They're going to say it was a moving screen. The official close to us is, uh, he's got great vision. Trying to play off Barani there, and they're going to catch her for traveling. And DeSalza, she had, she had the basket on the first take, right? Just put a little extra on it and ended up dragging that pivot foot. Try it again, Boguete on the floor though, fighting for the ball there to Indenita. Barani behind the screen, off back rim. Tracked down by Boquete. Free throw shot, she'll take it, she'll oh, she hit said, it. Well, if I work for this offensive rebound, I'm taking the shot. Boquete with five points. De Oliveira. Just trying to even the score. Brazil will get another chance at it. Gonzalo going right at Gretera. And what a matchup seeing those two go at each right, other. Right, both of them solid defenders, quick and passionate, right? So you're just seeing them really match up. It's a tough battle there. So a change at point for Argentina. The Urso will lead the way now as Gretera gets a breather. Driving left, the kick back out. Shot up top of the key, it is drained. Welcome to the party, Shintenida. Shintenida, right, she gets the open shot, but she sets, sets a heck of a screen, and that's really what gets her open. High sound, looking for Erica there, just too much on it. Chagas, waiting for someone to pick her up. Jindinida now left, feeds it to Barani. Gets the rebound, a kick to the corner. That would have felt nice for Argentina. Gonzola pushing the tempo now for Brazil. Vanessa back to Paisal. Faisal trying to work off some screens will kick it. De Oliveira, shots off in time. They're going to say a foul against Brazil, and that's going to be their team fifth. So we're walking down the other way. Argentina getting to shoot two.
Eric Adisazo wants an explanation. Both teams going to take a timeout here. We're going to try and listen in. I know you took Portuguese in college, right, at the University of Michigan? I, I, I wish I did. I wish I did. Andrea Bocchetti, five points, three rebounds. Right, early start for her. You can see here, look how she comes off the screen here, creates a space off that front foot for the three penetration. Again, that off foot there, creating the space, gets it up, gets herself balanced and squared. Nice start for her. Did you take a language? You're, now you're dating me. You are dating me. I can't <laughs> even remember right now. It's probably French. I believe it was French. I'm putting him on the spot. Putting me on the spot. Just like Boquete out there on the free throw line. <laughs> Can you hit in the pressure situations, Javon? Two for two for Boquete. She now has seven points. Seven of her team's 12 on the board. Vanessa surveying. Little high-low action. And this time, Erica Dussauza gets the, the call she was asking for. Going against Fior, Fioroto. Holding on to her jersey there. Pays to explain things to the to the officials, right? <laughs> so they have an eye on it. Close eye. You would hope. Sosa hits one for two. Brazil picks up Argentina full court. Two or so. With the rock. Pull up jumper. That's deflected. Gonzola, I think, had a hand on it. We're running with D. Oliveira, the skip pass. Corner shot. Brazil makes it count. Courtesy Gabriela Suarez. And that should right now, that should get Brazil going. A little juice there, a little pump, a little. Three-point shot. Fiorso taking the left lane. Good defense there. Deli Veras hands straight up. All right, Vanessa, your turn. A miss there on Chintinida. You gotta think right now for Brazil, they're, they're sustaining the minutes where Cardozo and Dantas is on the bench. So this this is this is all positive. And another foul on Argentina. We're in the bonus on both sides, so Brazil will go back to the free throw line. Consistent though, 
percent. That she is. She's gonna get, let, get a little breather right now. Thirty seconds to play here in the first quarter. Argentina up by three. Chagas with the drive on the right lane. Beautiful. Zola telling her team slow down. Let's set up. Eight seconds to go. Yelivera, the kick to the corner. Let's see what Suarez got. It's a miss. And Argentina recovers. That's the end of the first quarter. It is Argentina 14, Brazil 9. As I said before, right, you had Cardozo and Dantes out with two fouls in that first quarter. You know, you're down nine, 14 to nine. This is a, this is, this is a solid, this is a solid quarter for Brazil because you're able to sustain, right? So you come out now, you're gonna get everybody back in, and now you gotta, you gotta go full throttle. So welcome back inside Domo de la Feria. I'm just being a partner alongside Javon Shepard. One quarter is in the books. Argentina up by five. Brazil ball. Cardoso back on the floor, playing with two fouls. The South Carolina superstar. I'm not surprised at all. That first touch goes to her, right? She sat on the bench long enough. Get that cross screen on the baseline. She cuts it off it strong. Gets herself a wide, a wide solid base, gets a touch and draws a foul. This is the first there as Barani has a couple words with the official. This has been both. Greta quick to grab the board. Chagas. Domingo. Swinging around the horn. Greta into Barani. Has a size advantage split. Mungo takes baseline. Reverse, reverse. That's a nice hesitation. Dribbling on the left side, down the ba on baseline there. Just the hesitation as the defense steps up just to get around them. Suarez looking down low. Gonzalo calls the play. Suarez takes the shot. She falls down. And the foul is called. Barani doing a good job. Just denying Cardoso the ball there. She tried to get open on the right block and they ran the play through on the screen, the screener action, and just couldn't get it, couldn't get them open, couldn't get a touch on either block. And then a lot of confusion here on this end, Diorso 
is, is not understanding the whistle. Sora has definitely hit the deck, but she's saying she had nothing to do with it. There was a technical call in there against Argentina. The two coaches and the benches trading off on those technical calls. Chagas pull up three. Won't go. Nice rebound there by Jen Denida. How about another try? Gonzalo. Except for dribble. Cardoso really wanted the feed inside. She got it via got this basket. Making something out of nothing. Well, where there's a will, there's a way, right? They're doing a great job denying her and, and being physical with her and just making the catches and the entries difficult. On the, on the initiation of the offense. But hey, you gotta find ways, right? So if a shot goes up, then you just get inside position, you continue to wrestle, you continue to fight. Turn, shoot, long two misses. The Oliveira, the Cardosa. Looking for the cutter, and guess who's there? Gretera. The tip away. The feed to Durso. One more pass. Mungo. And Gintinida will drive, spin. And this Argentinian team looking for their best shot. Corner look. It's off. Picked up there by Flores, though. Gonzalo steps right into a three ball. Another tip job stays with Brazil this time. And Huleta Mungo was hoping the whistle was going the other way. <laughs> Her and Cardoso just tangled up. Wrestling. That's what it's been like all day for Cardoso, right? They've been just physical and trying to trying to beat her up. Here we go, Cordoso, right back at her. Rebound. Frustrated a little bit. She wanted that one to drop yep. in. Yeah, you can understand why they've had to be so physical with her, right? Because if she gets that deep, it's either, it's a foul or a basket. Something that good is going to happen for Brazil. This time it's a foul. She's going to get to the line for two. A chance to tie it up. Mungo steps off and fresh legs, Fontana. 
is on the floor to bang with Cordoso. Cuts the lead to one. Rutterup, clearing the way, corner shot. Another miss from the field. This Argentina team is struggling. Cardoso on the block. And I feel like we're in the butterfly effect. <laughs> you know what, as well, if the bigs of, of Argentina are going to be working as hard as they are down low, right, and making it difficult on Cardoso to catch the ball. The guards have got to put pressure on the, on the perimeter as well, right, and not make those passes easy. It's got to be a two-way street. Can't just put all the pressure on, on the bigs of Argentina to do the work. And I mean, if this is a strategy, right, she goes 50-50 from the free throw line. Is this sustainable? No, because then you follow everybody out. <laughs> All your bigs foul out. is going to go against Brazil and Gabriela Suarez. So two or so will shoot some free throws. Look at the, the foul as Suarez holds on tight to do or so. And a traveling call against Argentina. Driving left, Greta or right on her hip. Vanessa posts up, loses it. Greta has it under control. Boquete gives it right back. The feed was intended down there for Fontana. And the official is saying a blue jersey touched it last. We have a combined 33 points with 547 left in the second quarter. Now, I'm not sure if that is to credit good defense or both teams are just playing poor offense right now. I'm going to lean on the side of poor offense. Dantas on the floor again. Turn right. on jumper baseline beauty. That's just so smooth, right? She turns away, spins away from the double team, and off that back foot has the balance to make her shot. Gretera, baseline. Misses Cordoso with the board. Dantas, three ball wing. It's good. Bang, bang, Brazil feeling themselves. 
I think we found somebody to, to break this game open a bit, right? She showed you the inside game a while ago now to kick out, stretch the floor, nice shot. One point ball game in Argentina holds a timeout. here she's on the inside game just so much talent so much skill right there spinning off the back leg and then here showing you the outside game just knocking it down you can hear Petra kicking her out on around the perimeter Brazil showing a little two three zone here coming out of that timeout Brazil now with the lead after that three ball by Dantas. She's had the last five points. Oh, rolls in and out. Gretera blocks. Back to Dantas, banging on the block. Dorso will pick up her second personal. Now, what I like about Dantas, she, does, she doesn't just settle, right? She knows she hit two jump shots. Now they're running plays for her, getting her in the actions. And she's being aggressive, right? Getting it mid post there and just taking it to the defense as opposed to just being complacent and settling for jump shots. Brazil's got about four minutes as well to milk, you know, Argentina being in this bonus. And Dantas hits both, but Cordoso might get... Pick up her third. Wow. Yes, it is going to go against Cordoso. So her third personal foul. Wow. Brazil's second team foul this quarter. And she, yes, has to go out on this one. This is just one of those games for her. Driving, dishing, no, right in the hands of De Oliveira. Open look for Suarez, she hit it earlier. And this may be a push and another foul against Dantas. So you're both bigs have three? Am I counting that Both right? Both three, right back on the bench where he started. Foul trouble in the first quarter and right back where they were. Only this time they've got a four point lead. Lots of whistles going on.
imagine it's difficult to find a rhythm. Faisal working off the screen. Enough room to let it rip. It's nothing. Argentina ball. down. Here comes some help from Duorso. Lefty lets it rip in and out, but she will go to the free throw line to shoot three. The foul against Suarez. Her second. And she will go ahead and get subbed out. hits all three. And Florence Chagas comes in to give her some relief. Five down, driving right. Nothing there. Spotting up. Chagas kicks it. Barani right back. Wing three. Nice. Hits it. Nice. The lead is back to Argentina. And Barani with that initial pass, right? That first pass, it just shifts the defense to skip right back. Gives her enough time to be open and she tees it up. Ramona on the flip side. Not a good look. Lost by Gretera. Ramona pushing. Ramona's pass down low, disrupted by Gretera. Faisal back to Mora. You scream, you shoot. Ronnie kicks it. Chagas, quick fake. Ramona all over her. Gretera off the screen from Fiorto. The Oliveira off the curl. A miss. Mora's in the paint. She gets the put back. She had an inside position as that shot went up, right? So it comes off the rebound, and she's right there. Ball lands right in her hands. One minute to go here in the first half of play. Last time these two teams met, came down to a buzzer beater. Brazil on the winning end of that on Argentina land. The Oliveira off the screen, curl. Looking for the cut, Mora is there. Back, ooh. Okay, play's not broken ooh. yet. You see me? Play's not, don't. play's not over until it's over. Play is not over. I don't think Mora knew that the ball, she was gonna end up with the ball. <laughs> Six 
Great job here, just being physical, fighting more there, putting it up the cut back door here. See off the right foot, and then just keeps keeps fighting. Argentina timeout. We're going to try and listen in here for you guys. La grande, pasa la pelota, si gana individual, esta abre igual, si gana individual, esta entre muchos y que parece la abrir. Mora giving some bounce off the bench, seven points, two rebounds. Short time on the floor. Coach Neto, happy about that. This team sets up in a full court pressure situation. 30 seconds left in the half. Chaga splits through the defenders. Gets it back from Barani. And Argentina moving the ball, what they're known for. Bredera, corner shot, Boquete hits it. That's what the doctor ordered and Argentina is fired up. Four seconds to shoot. Paisal has the rock. She's going right at Gretera. There's nothing there at the end of the first two quarters. It is Brazil 29, Argentina 26. Well, I think we're going to be in for a back and forth battle in the second half here. Hopefully the bigs of Brazil can stay out of foul trouble in the second half so we can have a game. Scoreboard again. Three points is the differential. We traded the lead a few times here today. We're going to roll out with some of the best plays here in the first half to catch you up to speed. And we will see you on the other side with the start of the third quarter.
unique character. Unique chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all. Colombia sticking with it and Nunes. Her attack pays off. Big steps across the defense. A nice finish, nice touch. Black Gonzalez handled her. Hard take here. Gonzalez does a good job of covering and helping to help her. Block shot, little contact. Vanessa turn spins and drops. The acrobatic by Brazil. That's a fine to win. Amargo, the 38 year old captain, making it rain. <laughs> There by Venezuela. Avila, head down, twirling, right down the lane. A little fast for Perez. Fajardo finishes off the glass. <laughs> this is the unit that works so well together. And a block. Get out of my house. Cardoso feeling real comfortable here today. Bah. Easy rebound for Jackson to feed up to Reese. That one's pretty. And one Reese. The combo. Great concentration. Reese running the length of the floor.
there. In front of us, though, it's Argentina and Brazil. Argentina will get the ball first here to open up the third quarter. These two teams are in Group A. We are in the group phase. Top four teams will advance. They also have USA, Cuba, and Venezuela a part of that grouping. A whistle away from the ball. So Brazil quickly picks up their first. That's going against Montero, number five. And so the shot clock resets. Going baseline, Chagas. We'll get to shoot two. And that's going to be Paisau's first. The strong take, strong take here. He sees, has a size advantage. Paisau there, just like that off arm. Picks up the foul. And Chagas missed the 2021 America. She's back to her national team duties. Drafted by the Indiana Fever in 2021 in the WNBA, but hasn't gone over just yet. She's playing, she's been playing in Italy, Spain, Finland, all first division leagues. Faisal behind Dantas, hits it. Big time three, right? Defense doesn't come up, get over the screen. You have all the time in the world to stop and pop. Jaga is showing her off some handles and her passing game. Piroto down the lane. Piroto, good job poking her body to get around Erica and finish at the rim. Pick and roll. Erica de Souza. Yeah, she, she, yeah, flexing all the way down, right? Roll to the basket, strong catch, strong finish. Jack has tried the reverse. No call. Oh, ball taken away. Gretera has it. Roto hands it back to Boquete, top of the key. Montero, top of the key, surveying. The work off the screen from Erica de Souza, and Pierre Roto delivers a foul. Deborah calls the O. Dantes rolls. Barani has her, hand in her face. Contested shot won't drop. Gretera hits Fioroto again. This time she'll lay up on the right. No, it's a miss. One dribble in for Dantes. That ball goes out. Gets the feet. Great give and go there, right? You give up a pass, 
take one step towards the ball to get the defense moving and you get to the basket. Great pass, great finish, great cut. Two point game. Kaisal, skip pass, Deborah, wing. Good. Makes it five. behind the screen. And it's going to be called against Montero. Her second personal foul. Brazil's third here this quarter. You can see the give and go again there. But just a great setup, right? You make the pass here, kick out, tee it up, knock it down. Motion working here for Argentina. Montero, the other go the other direction. Chagas, an offensive foul. A blocking call against number 10, Ag Agustina Barani. Her third personal. And De Souza for the three point play chance. But still a lot of questions from the last possession. But DeSalza does so well, and this is something Cardoso and Dantas can, can take from her, is the use of the angles, right? She lets the defense play as, as aggressive as they want and just takes away the angle, right? Takes away one angle from them. So there's always a lane to give her the ball. So clarification with a foul on the ground. DeSalza flying in for the rebound. Deborah hits it from the baseline. Fans love it. the screen, Gretera can't hit. Deborah pushing the pace, Montero baseline. A little high, low, Dantas. No bueno, Berani gets it into the hands of her teammate. Midway point of the third quarter, and Brazil has extended their lead to seven. And another foul against Argentina. Fioroto and Montero trying to catch her breath. <laughs> this Argentinian offense is so fast that the guards are coming off the screens and the bigs aren't able to just set them, right? So that, those balls are a two-way street. Guards got to hold the ball a bit, you know, one extra second so that the bigs can set the screen, get a solid base on two, and that they're not moving to find the defense. Fioroto will not come back in this game. That was her fifth personal foul. Giovanni talked about you'll lose bodies out there handing out all these fouls. <laughs> and Fioroto is the first one for Argentina. Dante spin, shake and bake, won't go in. That cap very much still on the basket. And Paisal saying, no, all ball! Salsa steps off for a breather. Alini Mora in her place. As Chagas misses the first. 
Five points for Chagas today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the right call there. That's going the other way. Right idea, right? But you got to stop and set it again. So second personal foul for Paisao in that transaction. Another look here. Stays here. Needing some help. Chagas goes for it. Bocchete driving right, splitting two defenders. Big rebound, pulled down, and the foul first on the floor. And we are in the bonus. So Argentina will be going to the free throw line. Candela Chinteneta. 22 year old. Hits the first. the second her team trails by five. By Sal. Deborah. She's now moving the ball all around. By Sal pull back three. Barani tipped it. Gretera with the cleanup. We're running. No whistle. Picks up her dribble. Barani helping Montero out. And the clock, I think, needs to be corrected. The clock didn't even know what happened. Because <laughs> <laughs> Coach Neto was selling it so much on the <laughs> sideline. Barani stopped Goretta. Everybody paused. Yeah. You and I were over here looking. OK, what's going on? Goretta picks up her, her dribble. Barani says Benito. During that time, Neto subs back in Dantas. Zetera. Pass intended there for Jen Denida, and the foul handed over, so she'll get to shoot two more. That's one you don't need there by Vanessa, right? You're playing solid defense, already in the bonus, right? You jump over the back, you give the referees an easy excuse, right? Player playing solid defense. Have the matchup, have, have a couple pounds on your matchup, just stay solid, low base. Steps off. Room go on for her. And Jim Demida misses the first. Both left on the table there for Argentina. Deborah moving quickly. Paisao corner shot, looks good, is good. Three ball, Brazil. That's just good basketball, right? You drive, you kick, you get an open shot. 
Coquete, driving dish, open look, Chagas counters. Nice, off the handoff here, full speed to kick out Chagas. We've got life from these two teams. with five to shoot. Turn, spin, lets it fly, she hits it. She's so good with that, right? And she buys time with the dribble. You'll, you'll see her take one dribble, two dribbles. Through that time, she's just watching the defense and reading the defense before she gets into her spin, into her jump shot. Mungo getting wrapped up, Montero. Raises, raises her hands in. for Montero. And Neto is going to have a few coachable words with her before she steps off. And Argentina still struggling from the free throw line. That one cuts the lead to six. Big, tall, has a size advantage. She does it on the other side. Getting back on defense to defend Mungo. Mungo spins. Chagas in front of Paisao, dribbles it. Seconds to go in the third quarter. Paisao with the ball. And the foul is going to come on the defensive end. Chagas with her second personal. with 11 points in the game. Sends the lead to eight for her crew and high fives all around. Nice take there, the attempt by Mungo. Dantas spin, this time fade away in the middle. Quintanita gets it back to Chagas. Same for the screen and spots up for the three ball. Off its mark, tracked down by Mungo. He should get a couple free throws. Somebody's gonna make a shot soon, right? <laughs> You know the meme by Oprah? You know, <laughs> you get a free throw and you get a free throw. <laughs> or you get a foul. Either way, Argentina looking to convert this go around. <laughs> and this is day number three for Argentina. They had the first day off, but this was the first of a back to back. After they faced off with USA last night. I don't know if I'd like that first day off, to be honest. Because you got four games in a row. Yes, you get to see the teams and, you know, just relax a bit, calm the nerves, but I don't want four games in a row. Ooh. Both 
both teams cough it up on their last possession. 24 seconds to play. Third quarter, Brazil out in front by seven. Suarez into Dantas, it looked crowded down there, didn't matter. Dantas, a beast. Yeah, she cleared out space there on the catch. Then she turns, just an easy finish. One second to go, you gotta get a shot up. It goes in, but does not count. Man, Duruso and I both looked at the official at the same time, <laughs> waiting for the call. And so after the first three quarters of play, Brazil has a nine point lead. It's 50 to 41. Some of the stats through three quarters. Free throw numbers for both teams. You know, you look back after this game, and that could be something that hurts. if the Caps were still on the baskets, that these teams would have to get out in transition. I haven't seen the transition game. This yeah, is all half-court sets. You, you haven't needed to, right? Dantas has done a great job of just opening up the offense and playing the mid-post game, playing out, inside, outside. And Eric has also did a great job of getting into the post, using angles and creating opportunities for herself. So Brazil's done a great job of coming out and, and getting their half-court offense going. here, Argentina ball. Quick, Ferrani shot on the wing. Missed. Dantes going on the block. Ferrani, skip passes. Suarez spotting up from the baseline, way off its mark. Vanessa will give it a go. Urso working off the screen. Kick to Gretera. Urso behind the Barani screen. And just this team from Argentina continues to struggle from the field. Inside outside game, Flores. And the foul delivered by Suarez on the other side. Our Brazil's first. 
her third. Drives up left, can't get it to go down. The Oliveira. Nice. Rolls it. Great ball from there. The 23 year old fan fouled out against Cuba here, finding a present in the fourth. Barani tipped away, blocked. <laughs> Vanessa. Cordoso hey, skips it back out to Flores, and too much on it. Right now, Cardoso has checked back in, and they're using her more as a screener first at the beginning of the offense before posting her up. You see great screen from Flair, great knockdown. That's just a good read, good textbook basketball. Argentina calls a timeout. We're going to listen in. That was inside the huddle of Argentina and Gregorio Martinez. A fiery message to his team. to make up for Argentina. And Argentina's, excuse me, Brazil's come out in a 2-3 zone here. Shot clock at three. Greta has the rock. Got to do something. She throws it up. Back out to Suarez, working it around the horn here for Brazil. Skip pass, back. Shot goes up for Deborah. It's off. This is just, this just isn't her game. She may have got, may have got Lungo's fingernail here, if that. That'll be her fourth, yep. Feels like the first bucket of the fourth quarter. In fact, it was, that's the first point. Argentina's been scoreless the last four and a half minutes. Yes, 
to fall into the parquet as she tries to make a move towards the basket. She's been fairly quiet today. Usually when she gets it in that post area there, she's quick to get to her spin. Hasn't been as aggressive or assertive in today's game. Three games in a row. Yeah, you, you almost knew as soon as she touched it, she was a guaranteed bucket. A lot of motions riding into this game. These two teams have a lot of history. They all know one another. And Chagas will travel. Helps herself up. And Chagas doesn't need any reminder that it was this Brazilian squad who beat them basically on home court during the South American Championship. It was a buzzer beater, and Brazil won. That tournament is how this group qualified for this America. And this is how you continue your road to Paris 2024. Ooh, what a cover. <laughs> Greg Rod knows when to duck. Lonnie feeling out Vanessa. And I think Paisal had a little piece of her. It's going to be counted against Vanessa here. Roquette driving right. Chagas, open look. saying to his Brazil team, slow down, slow down. Mora, three, to the right. Lonnie oh, turns, shoot. Wow, that was even tough Ooh. to go down. Touch everywhere, every rim. Mora poked away. Argentina on the run. And Chagas doesn't understand how to hit, get up there. Chagas say, where What's is the mean? foul? Foul. Called by Brazil. Another look at Barani's turnaround, Jay. Touch every rim, touch it, got the glass twice, and finally fell. Talk about touch. And having to earn every <laughs> bit of it. Brazil with a seven point lead. Four minutes to play here. Day three. Game number three for Brazil. The second outing for Argentina. 
Brazil trying to stay undefeated. And Argentina thirsty for their first victory. Paisel right through the gut, misses on the left. Chagas. Clearing the way for Gretera, there was Barani. That's a big time shot, and they've been going under the screens with her all day. She hasn't taken one. Steps up here, just walks right into it. Has to lead to four. Dantes kicks it for Dolso. Hard take, and the reward is coming. Or hadn't made one, I should say. Oliveira there, going right at Gretera. And Cardoso steps off. up that rebound. Skip fast. Quick turn to Paisal. And she will walk. Yeah, it's just a shift of that pivot foot there, right? She steps back and trying to explode. She's done a tremendous job on Dante. She's done a tremendous, uh, big time job on Cardoza. She just beat this, throwing herself around out there and just beating them to the spot, getting in front of them, denying. Ronnie here on the cut. She gets fouled from behind. Mora. Say no way. So we'll see if Ronnie who fouled out against USA. Like you said, she has a tough job, right? Yeah, she has a tough job, but she's doing an amazing one with it. A 31-year-old center will get a pair of free throws here. She's playing the, the experience game against Dantes and Cardoso. No, you can't see this if you're watching from home, but the Brazilian fans here in the arena have found a way to place themselves in front of the free throw line that Argentina is shooting at to try and be even more of a disruptor. Cardoso calling back for it. Suarez decides to take it herself. Rebound to Oliveira, and she's out of bounds.
the ball game. Greta lays it up in the right. A miss by Sal. Running with it. The Oliveira will slow it up. Wait for Paisal to get free. Look how low Gretera gets. Mora, deep two. And slow to get up. Gretera is still on the floor. Play is still in action. Nice takeaway. The tip there by Mungo. Still trailing is Gretera. She looks a little hurt. Chavez. And kind of just toying there with Vanessa. And Vanessa, that's just a that's just a yeah, that's a young foul there, right? Just, Low enough, just keep your feet. Chavez going to the left. You actually had an advantage, get beat her to the spot. The last second there. Swipe in. That's what a foul is. Dantes checks back in, as does Debra for Brazil. And Chintenada. All tied up, friends. 54-54. And Argentina takes the lead. Chagas cool as ice. Stepped up to the line. She understood the time, the score, felt no pressure at all. Knocked two of both of them down. Did we think we'd be anywhere else with this contest in this game? Nowhere else but here. Listen, <laughs> right where we are. We knew it'd be tight. Argentina sitting back in the half court D. Psych, Chagas is coming up. And Deborah running point for Brazil. And Argentina out here in the 2 3 zone. Faisal asking for the screen. Cardosa looking to roll, can't get past. Argentina slowing her down. Paisal dribbling it out and a foul is delivered. And if that is going against Burani, that's number four. I imagine the goal here for Argentina is to finish this out in regulation. Yeah, absolutely. And just Play solid defense, right? No, no need to foul right now, no pressure at all. Prayers going up from the stand. <laughs> Fresh shot clock for Brazil. Dantes right back to Paisão. Paisão trying to get some room to see. And another foul delivered this time. by Durso. No way exactly. They have one more to give. And it's a bonus situation. By Sal, right at Durso. The kick, Dantes waits for it. Wing shot, three ball. It's off. 
the put back on the weak side. There's a chance for Brazil to go to the free throw line. Just at the right place at the right time, right? The shot goes up, everybody understands the urgency. And right under the rim, got to be there, comes up with it, and comes up with the foul. So Emanuele de Oliveira will take the free throw line. Her team down by one. Big one. 55 all. Two for two for Brazil and Di Oliveira. <laughs> Are you getting flashbacks? Oh yet? my goodness. Ice in her veins. The South American Derby, these two teams meeting up again to live up to that name. So with this timeout, Argentina will get to advance the ball. Seven seconds to go, or to work with. The women in blue trail by one. And there's a hang up here on the sideline. De Urso and Coach Martinez making sure that they have the substitution correct. And Russo is going back to the bench and instead we're gonna see Mungo on the floor for Argentina. Chagas to inbound. Dantas in her face. Bredera driving the lane. The feed, Mungo with the shot off the glass. She had her chance. Brazil wins out. And who comes up with a big contest there? And it's, it's so fitting after the type of game that she's had. Cardoza, she's the one right there. Contest the shot, makes it difficult. You can see she overshoots shoots the shot. And now Brazil comes out with a victory. Back and forth game. Tough one, and, and like we were saying at half, you know, it was a lid on both baskets. Brazil did a great job coming out of halftime and had a big third quarter, which really opened the game up between Erica and, and Dantes, who really, they really took over this game, right? The mid-post game with Dantes, outside, inside, outside, and then, you know, things started to roll a bit in that third quarter, right? It got rocky in the, in the fourth year, but they had the, the, the toughness, the wittiness, and a unit, they were a cohesive unit that down the stretch here, they were able to close out this game. And Argentina just could not hit a basket, struggled from the free throw line, and Brazil closes out this contest. And in this tournament, Brazil advances to three straight victor victories in Group A play. Yeah, clap it up. Next up for this Brazilian squad is Team USA tomorrow. 
That should be a good one. The celebration <laughs> here between generational <laughs> superstars for Brazil. So much love and respect. <laughs> and a final look here at those stats for you, Javon. And you look at it right, and even though Brazil shot 61 from the free throw line, they were still able to find a, a way to pull it out. And I'll tell you what had a big part of that is that the rebounds, right? 53 to 38. Assists were, were dead even there. But those those rebounds were a big, you know, a big factor. Offensive rebounds, or second chance opportunities. Dantas had a big game, 13 points. Paishao 11, more seven. was a derby here between these two South American juggernauts. Brazil wins out, defeating Argentina by one, 56-55. A look at the standings in Group A as game day three comes to a close. Tomorrow, Brazil, USA go toe to toe. For Javon Shepard, I'm Despina Barton. The final score, Brazil 56. Argentina 55. Stick around. Remember, FIBA Women's America Cup action coming your way. Next up, it is Colombia and Dominican Republic.